We're both dying. Yes, we are. People often want to know why we can't get into an attic. There's actually in this house two very good reasons why. First of all, this is our attic hatch. I'll let Liz stick the camera in there. Oh, it's a little teeny tiny. <laughs> it is tucked way in the corner of a closet with well, a shelf kind of in the way that we can kind of lift, but this uh, closet rod isn't coming out, so we might be wiggling, be able to wiggle up next to it. I am not the biggest guy in the world, and I would have a tough time squeezing through that attic hatch to get in there. The other thing that we're going to find with this house, because it's a 1964 split level, or tri-level, depending on what you want to call it, is that it's a very low-pitched roof, so even if we can get in that attic hatch, it's probably going to be about that tall in that attic, so we're not going to be able to go very far. So this may be one of those instances where we can get the hatch loose, maybe get in up to our torso and look around, but that's going to be about all we can do for this particular attic. What would your suggestion be if the inspector cannot get in? If they can't get in because it's personal possessions and storage that's keeping them from getting to it, have the sellers move that stuff, and we're always happy to come back one time for free on our schedule to take a peek in that attic. Um, in a case like this, it really kind of is what it is. We can probably see it, but there's not much we're going to be able to get to up there. 